First of all, let me say a very big thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Since I was elected president in Ghana nearly 20 months ago, January, I took office January 2017. You've come to visit me twice. And on the second... Because you're a good president. <laughs> and on the second occasion, you invited me to come to this event. Um, I agreed to come for reasons that I think it's important that I put out there. But just let me also say a big hello to the president of Kenya for put, allowing himself and I to share this platform together. Take very strongly the sentiments he expressed. But I think that the reasons why I accepted come and spend the day here, part of the day here, are important to why we, this is so significant. First, we live on the richest continent in the world, and yet our people are the poorest. That is a, a contradiction that has to be resolved. People who live on the world's richest space are the poorest people in the world. The second, look at the history of the other countries and other continents. It's clear that strong market economies provide the best framework for development and for prosperity and for wealth creation. So you put those two things together, and then you put a third aspect. We're told that 40 countries on the continent, the population of them, more than 50% of 40 countries in Africa are age group below the age of 25. That in fact, the median age, the average age of today's African is 19 years, five years. So that's it. It means that all these young people, they are the African people, are young people. So we put all these things together. And what does it mean? That the work you're doing here to encourage entrepreneurship, ingenuity, creativity, innovation amongst the young people, that is the future of our continent. No two ways about it. And I felt that with this objective and with these reasons that I have, I thought it would be a good idea to come here to support what you're doing and for the world to see that political leaders of this generation in Africa appreciate the work that you're doing. That's what has brought me here to Lagos today to come and participate in this thing. But it is so key to our future. And I hear you say it on television all the time. You are our future. It is the truth. You are our future. Did There's you hear no two that? Ways about it. You are our future. <laughs> so then comes what governments can do to assist this process. I think the first thing is that they run their countries well. We so called good governance. You run your countries well. You allow the institutions of your country to run efficiently. And the second thing, that you also run your economies well. You have an economy where there's macroeconomic stability, where inflation is low, interest rates are low, where the deficit is going to control. Those are the, the, the building blocks for an economy that can grow. So that's our responsibility. Run our countries well and provide a framework for the macroeconomies of our countries to work well. And I think that we put those things together and encourage the ingenuity, encourage the sense of enterprise, sense of innovation amongst our young people. Then we are, as it were, squaring the circle. That's what I'm trying to do in Ghana. So since I came into office, We've established a Ministry of Business Development, which is running a program which it calls 
the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program.